Well, hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I hope you're all having a great day. We finally got some rain. But let me just tell you, we were so dry that, um, and we're under band burns everywhere. And so probably the rain is just going to soak right up into the ground, the wetness. But we had got a good little downpour. And so I was happy for that. I was able to breathe better after the rain. What is it, Phoebe? Do you want to say hi? I turn that camera on and here she comes. She's like... <laughs> and then she starts doing all that yawning and... <sighs> but anyway, guys, I hope you're all having a great day. And I hope you're staying cool and enjoying your crafts. So, I made another project for the wreath. And I love how this one turned out. It's so cute. It is a little clownfish. Did you see that, Phoebe? Did you like it? Do you like the clownfish? What? You don't like it? Anyway, so I made this little clownfish, and I think he turned out adorable. I love the bright colors. I mean, like my shirt is bright, bright pink. You can just see. I think he is going to look great. Um on the wreath you can see he does have two eyes yeah you like it <laughs> okay so on this clownfish i used a mainstay orange the mainstay colors at walmart um just their basic colors are very very bright and vibrant um all except for the red like, that's really weird to me. Like, all the colors are so bright and pretty. The red is just red. <laughs> but uh, that is a Craft Smart, I mean, not a Craft Smart, Mainstay Red. It is a Craft Smart Black, and it is a Red Heart off Soft White White. So that's what I used. Okay, guess what hook I used? I used an E hook on him. Okay, it was a little bit easier this time. I used the e-hook on that sea turtle, and then I used a e-hook on him. Um, I wanted this fish to be a little smaller, because I am doing another fish that I'm probably going to use a g-hook on. And so I wanted this one to just be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to try to put this one in with, like, in front of seaweed. I'm like talking this up like I got this done, but really I'm working on it, okay? I hope it all comes together. But in my mind, I'm going to crochet this seaweed, and this is going to be on the seaweed. Like not hidden in the seaweed, but there at the seaweed. So I still got to do some like coral and some of those little tube things that you see um, in photos. I've never... I've never um, seen any in the ocean because I've never went um, diving. Is that what you call it? Diving in the ocean to see coral and all that stuff. But stuff that I have saw in pictures or artwork or stuff, um, they have a coral and then those um, tall tube things. I'm not sure what you call those. You can tell me down below if you know. <laughs> but um, I want to do those in bright colors and look at Phoebe going to sleep. Did you, did you fall asleep? <laughs> so, anyway, I was proud of myself that I was able to use an e-hook for this. Um, now, an e-hook is... It was easier on this than it was on that turtle. Because on the turtle, it's right here. The brown um, was just real splitty with it. I was kept... Um, when I was, you know... Your, when I would pull through, it would only pull some of the, it would never pull all of it together. And it took me a while to do that because I'd always have to stop, redo that stitch. I couldn't go very fast because it was um, just the yarn wouldn't stay in together. I had way better luck with this one, so it was more enjoyable. It wasn't very enjoyable making that brown on this because... It took forever because I was having to go so slow and still at that, I'd have to pull it out and redo that single crochet almost every time. <laughs> but
But um, I like the little clownfish. I don't know if I call him. I call him. I always call clownfish Nemo's. But anyway, it is a clownfish. I don't know if I said that. And so the clownfish pattern did come out of plenty of fish in the sea. Um, Olive has this one in the book, and then she has another one on her website, stringydingding.com. And I looked at both patterns to see, and the one on her website seems to be a little bit smaller of a fish. Um, I think I looked at the rounds and stuff, and it is a little bit smaller of one. And I could have just made that one, but um, I just I have the book here with me, so I was just using the book. <laughs> So, um, you can see, I use those little, what do you call these things, um, highlighter sticky tabs. I use those to mark my place in the, we just got to see what it is, to mark my place in the patterns. So, I'm always using those. So, anyway, that's the book I used for that pattern. And I really love how he turned out. <laughs> Do you like it, Phoebe? She's like, I don't know, woman. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. Well, I hope you all are having a great day and enjoying your day, whatever it is you're doing. It's Saturday, so I hope you are doing something to bring enjoyment for yourself. Um, you know, we have to make our own joy, our own happiness. Don't sit around waiting on someone else to do that for you. Bring it on yourself. <laughs> Don't depend on somebody else to um, dictate your happiness. You should do things that make you happy and for you and for yourself. And so that's my message for today is be happy, do what makes you happy, and live your best life. Bye, friends.